Okay, so my name is Sergio Vargas. This is the first class for writing practice. And the topic of this class is uh, a class forum. Uh, why, why is important uh, to use in a class forum? What is the form to communicate in a class forum, right? So, for this first part, um, we want to um, work um, a little exercise about um, and grammar and, and meaning, yeah? So, uh, you tell me um, what the, the meaning of the sentences uh, right here, yeah? For example, the first. Something that the people have done for many years. Uh, what is the meaning of this sentence? You, uh, you, a tradition. Yeah. Okay, a tradition. And uh, Andres, Juliet, what do you think? A tradition, too? The first one? Yeah. Higher. Yes, a tradition. Okay, right. A tradition. Okay, the second. A big fire that the people build outside. What do you think? Bonfire, no, it's a room. Una fogata. Okay, a bonfire. Yeah. You, you agree? I agree. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a bonfire. And the third, uh, to destroy something in an explosion. To blow up. So it has to explode. Blow up. Yes, to blow up. Yeah. Okay, to <laughs> blow up. Blow up, yeah, right. And uh, fourth, um, a substance that explodes, it, it catches fire. An explosive, no. An explosive. <laughs> An explosive. Yeah. And to make a secret plan uh, with other people to do something bad or illegal. It's the plot, no? Plan, yeah. Yeah, to plot. And the final, um, it's obviously um, to cause a great pain to someone, normally to get them uh, to share information, to punish them, or to be cruel. Torture. Torture, yeah. Uh, the exer exercise is very simple. Yeah, you, you, uh, you got it because you respond all all the sentences with the with the word in, in front in front of the sentence, but <laughs> the last group uh, have uh, very confused with this with this exercise. But very well, well done. So um, this is uh, four tips very important to the topic of this class: um, the participation in a forum or uh, to develop a class forum, yeah? Uh, so the first, uh, it's nice to start by saying something that shows you have read other people's posts. Yeah, when when we participate in a, a post forum or a class forum, it's important when you post uh, a question, you post a, an answer, you post a, a script, you have uh, one idea that uh, uh, what say the the post of your partners or your classmates in that post or in that uh, class forum, yeah? The second, in a class forum, uh, you can be quiet informal. Uh, this is important because um, normally in a class forum, we use a formal structure, yeah? Sorry, um, it's normal. Uh, we uh, we uh, script a post uh, with a formal structure or with formal phrases, but um, you can use a, a, a little bit the informal structure too. Yeah, uh, just a little bit, but it's possible. 
The third, um, in informal writing, you can uh, sometimes miss out the beginning of a phrase. Yeah. For example, in, in the in the slide. And so cool to read about everyone's home tradition. It's example, but um, the beginning of the of, of this phrase, it's very informal and it's not it's not adequate to use uh, this form to to write in in, in a form yeah and the last and uh, remember in a form uh, you are part of a long conversation with a lot of other people so they might ask you questions so it's important you check um every time the the class forum and response uh, if you have questions or um, um, give answers to the to the questions about your your partners yeah okay so uh, for this first exercise and um, you can uh, put in practice your your writing skills and you wanna uh, respond this 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 post of your teacher yeah so you read this post and you wanna write uh, a, an answer and response for this post so and uh, respond in the chat or yeah and um, write a, a little a little bit response in in the chat and send it uh, for the check you have one or two minutes to redact this text yeah you got it it's clear the exercise Yes, Say again, sorry, I didn't understand very well. So, um, uh, uh, you wanna, uh, you you can see my screen, the the slide. Yes. Okay. You gonna uh, this message is uh, from the tutor to you, yeah. So you are gonna read the, this this message, and you are gonna respond this message like a like a, a a forum post yeah you got it yeah okay go ahead
Okay, Camila, very nice. It's a good response. Okay, you did, nice. Okay, right. Yeah, this exercise is, it was very easy, yeah. So um, it's important, for example, in the case of um, Maria, uh, you can use in in this part. Um, I'm from. Where do you say that? Um, Sahagun. Sahagun. Uh, in this case, you can use um, aim. Yeah and instead I am um, you lead you lead the same in in this case when you say uh, I am from Palmyra you can use I'm from Palmyra it's important to use the contractions when you read that and Felipe ah, Felipe use the contractions actually yeah, it's right. But you understand, Juliet and Camilla, the use of these contractions in. Yes. Okay, it's important. You can use these contractions to redact a post or or any text. Yeah or even speaking. So, this is an exercise and, and, and have many tips or, or the, or the uh, a class forum or, or a post forum. The first, uh, for forum message, you need to write complete sentences. The second, uh, you should not use abbreviations like LOL or IDK to save time. Uh, it's important don't use these ar 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 abbreviations in their uh, uh, post redact or uh, in a, a script or a class form. Yeah. The three, um, use tools to add files. And the fourth, uh, you need to use uh, full stops at the end of the message. It's, it's important to use a formal structure, full stops at the end of all of paragraphs or, or the structure of the script. So, we want to work in this activity. Um, this is the statement. You are in a problem because you have to leave the class forum due to a family situation. So you write an excuse from the tutor in 50 words where you explain the problem 
and say goodbye to him and your cl your classmates. Yeah. Write a uh, fifty words. Explain your case, your problem, your family problem. Yeah. And this note, don't don't forget use only the formal expressions to write your text. So um, you write uh, 50 words explaining the family situation uh, you, ha you have, yeah? It's clear the point? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so redact like uh, uh, a post forum, yeah? And uh, good morning to our classmates and don't forget um, say goodbye. And put the, the post in the chat, please.
Okay, Andres, very nice. It's um, a good excuse. So, Yeah, you let your your response is right, but this part and the doctor asked uh, for the entire family there. That sounds that your your relative it's gonna die. <laughs> Sorry. But the, the text is really good, yeah. A good response. And finally, mm, yeah, that sounds that sounds like that. Uh, good morning, teacher and classmates. I think my mother is very sick. She's in the hospital. It's from sorry, I read one. Yeah, really good, um, Camila. Very nice. So, uh, that happened years ago. That's a, a real situation. Sorry, sorry about that. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> it, 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 you, you. You maybe can po uh, um, put a, a imag imaginary situation. You don't need uh, uh, need to use the the real situation, but it's nice. So sorry for your for your family. So. Uh, you can see the screen, yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. So for this part, we're gonna um, uh, practice your your velocity for typing test. Yeah. So we're gonna share this link in the chat, and you're gonna. Um, um, go to the to the website a uh, typing test and you're gonna put these these characteristics in the test time five minutes and the level of the text me medium yeah so um uh, what what you gonna do um right so um open open the link And, and you're gonna put these characteristics and you're gonna type uh, all phrases that appears that, that uh, appears there, yeah? Um, wait. Mm -hmm. You can see my screen. You can see the the website. Yes. Yeah. And so, in this part, you can you put five minutes, and this part medium text. Yeah. So you start the test, and you type all that they there. Yeah. The same the same phrases. And you have uh, five minutes to complete the test. Okay. 
Okay, go ahead and send me your your results to to the chat.
Okay, Juliet, very well. 100%, very well. And Camilla, yeah, the same, the same result. Okay. Okay. 99%. Really good, Andres. So, um, um, what do you think about this text? It's easy, it's difficult. Turn on your microphone or pour in the chat. What, what do you prefer? Teacher, uh, it's a really good test. It's the first time I am doing this. Um, actually, I am finished the last part. It's, it's very long and I am doing right now. Okay. <laughs> now, <I'm> late. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, you have the same results. You have uh, a really high percent uh, to to succeed. Yeah, but uh, you have uh, a low number in words. Per, what words per minute? Your typing speed is a little a little slow. You you have to improve yeah, your your velocity. But yeah, really nice. Okay, yes, really nice. Really good. So, I done the, the three tests. And yes, wow, I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and Camila, Felipe, what do you think? You can put them in the chat or you can turn on your microphone. Yeah, I think it's a good exercise. To, to improve the typing time because I am not uh, very, very uh, fast to write, especially in English, in Spanish, obviously, <laughs> but yeah, in yeah. English now, and, and this is a, a, a good exercise because uh, we have to write in English a lot for the university and for uh, the, the, the works. Yeah, actually, um, this exercise, and it's obviously to improve your writing skills, but you can improve your grammar and reading all the phrases that appears in, in this exercise. Yeah. And you, Andres, what do you think? Put in the chat or, or turn your microphone. What do you prefer? Well, I think that that just a response good. I didn't write fast, usually, no? But yeah. this time I have to do it. But I, I was reading or uh, was analyzing the text where, while, I were, um, while I was writing. So I, I don't know if for that reason I wrote that course, but I, I think it was good. Yeah, yeah, I... I Were m many stories, no? Yeah, yeah, I, I know because um, you have, the, you have the, same, the, the same percent of, 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 of accuracy that your partners, but your uh, is, uh, type speed is very low than, than your friends. Yes. Yeah, but I, I was that's... reading and analyzing what, what was happening in the text. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was. I, I thought that it would be the, the same thing, a, a long story, but those were different. So like. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, no problem. You're you're reading and analyzing the in the text. The, that's the important that you understand the the exercise. Yeah. Okay, guys. So. For this class, that's that's all. Yeah. So um, um these classes um, for these classes is very short because it's the first class and it's uh, the introduction to the 
many other classes from writing and listening and chats 101 that uh, we want to do in in the next weeks yeah so if um i'm gonna switch to spanish in this part eh, okay uh, esta clase fue corta porque pues en realidad um, la idea no es agobiar a los estudiantes en la primera clase, sí, es agobiante estar escribiendo tanto. De hecho, uh, había un ejercicio de más en la presentación, pero yo me lo salté porque es que era más, más escritura y mm, es importante que ustedes no se agobien y quieran seguir practicando. Entonces, chicos, eh, les agradezco, por favor. No sé si tengan alguna pregunta sobre la clase. No, profe, excelente clase, muchas gracias. Ok, gracias. Sí, todo, todo muy chévere. Ok. Entonces, eh, eh, porfa, eh, eh, les pido me regalen en, en el chat su nombre, su apellido, el curso de inglés en el que están participando y eh, su correo institucional, de preferencia. Y eh, recordarles que estas clases se van a estar llevando a cabo eh, todas las semanas. Como les decía hace un momento, hay clases de writing, de listening, de chats one on one, que son clases de 15 minutos eh, platicando directamente con el, con el tutor. Y ya sería que ustedes miraran eh, cuál, en cuál clase creen que deberían matricularse y cuál... Eh, eh, habilidad específica deben mejorar. Por lo general, eh, eh, pues esta clase, esta clase la probé en la mañana, pero no sé si siga en la mañana, entonces mis clases van a ser ahora en la noche, 6 a 8. Todas, las de listening, las de chats y las de, y, la, y estas de writing. Entonces ya sería que, pues cuando les lleguen los links de inscripción, revisen bien y vean ¿Cuáles habilidades quieren fortalecer? Entonces, Andrés ya, día ya. Eh, me faltas tú, Julieta. Ya, ya, profe, ya, ya, sí, es que me... Sí, tranquila. Eh, ah, estás, est estás aquí como estudiante practicante. Pero, ¿de qué curso de práctica? Eh, Andrés, ¿estás ahí, Andrés? Tengo que colocar el curso de práctica por el que estoy aquí. Sí, es que pues, es una información que me piden, entonces necesito poner de, de parte de qué curso vienes para estas clases. Ah, bueno. Eso, te agradezco. Y listo, chicos, pues no siendo más, espero les haya gustado la clase y espero verlos en próximas clases en estas semanas que vienen. Vale, profe, muchísimas gracias. Bueno, que estés bien. Gracias. Okay, guys. See you in the next class. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.